What's up everybody and welcome back to the Road to Glory where we haven't sold Messi yet. It's because it's like literally two minutes after I finished recording the last time. I'm still not quite sure what to do with it and we will see. It depends on what we get in our foot champs rewards in a minute. What we do with these two boys. I mean, I'm not sure what to do just to play... Like, just to do the objectives. Like, we need to claim our rewards so I can actually see the objective. But I think it's gonna... Yeah, it's my foot champs on. It's annoying that you can't see the weekly objectives there. So you've got your foot champs rewards. I need to get that foot swap, or I want to get that foot swap anyway. It's quite nice to get the Gamero, you know. That would be pretty decent, actually. Decent little super sub. Maybe just throw them in the team when we are selling on our big players. Flipping them for profit, or flipping them to reinvest the coins or something like that. I don't really know. Whatever we're doing at the moment, whatever you call it. But a lot of these guys aren't going anyway. Obviously, Chesney, Chiellini, Thiago Silva, Danny Alves and Cruz are all untradeable, which is pretty mad. Alexandro kind of got to stay so that we can use the other guys, the red Chiellini and the red Chesney. And then the rest of them are kind of... We can just go do as we please and sell them, but... I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I'm, I think I'll keep Suarez and give him a trial run up front when we try and... I'm going to play a couple of Div Rivals games before the end of this week, which is basically going to be tonight, and get that objective done, hopefully, to get the foot swap card. And I'm not really sure what I'd do if I sold Messi and Bale. Maybe we'd have to just, I don't know, buy, like, Ben Yedder and... I don't know. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. Especially if we get red Dembele, because I'll probably just grab right wing Dembele. You can't do that if you've got the red one in our team. So, anyway, enough jibber jabber. We actually, our Div Rivals rewards are terrible this week. We got rank 4, which is properly whack, because that game that I showed you guys yesterday that properly annoyed me was me saying, oh, do you know what? I'll just go and just play a couple of games, get rank 3, do the objective, and it just made me hate FIFA. So, I've got the worst possible Div Rival rewards. I didn't even get to the point where you get to pick what you actually want. As you can see, I've got 1,848 skill rating, so I didn't rage quit another game. To, because now, this week, I can get... I'm getting rank 3 rewards, or Div 3 rewards, no matter what. And I can, if I want, rage quit my way all the way down to Div 5, and then just play some casual games and get myself rank 1, which is the idea anyway. But I didn't get up to this one where we get, like, 50k packs and stuff, which is kind of frustrating. A bit annoyed at myself, but at the same time, don't really care that much. I'd rather not be driven mental by FIFA and just get these ones instead. So that's what we did. Anyway, they're pretty crap. But the main thing really is the foot champs player picks and that is what we're going to do. So let's jump into foot champs. Obviously we came goal free as we always do. I think this week was 14 and 2 if I can remember properly which is pretty, it's pretty good. It took me 16 games to get these rewards which is very very nice. That's basically the idea of it. Least stress possible for best reward return based on amount of stress. Getting the right balance basically. So yeah, I could play 30 games and I might get elite and I'd probably get gold one and it proper stress me out and the rewards wouldn't actually be that much better. Or I could have basically no stress, play 16, 15 games, win 14 of them and get gold free and base get basically the same reward. So that is what we've currently been doing, but I, I know that you guys in the last comment section were saying about how you wanna you do want me to try and actually get elite and try and play all the games and be more organized and stuff like that. So that is something that I will take on board, but not this week because I'm actually away this weekend. So <laughs> apologies for that. Let's just see. Let's just see what we get. We've got our two mega packs, our one rare players pack, our 30k coins, a requalification for foot champs, and two player picks, which is what we're all here for. There's an option for a Salah. There's an option for a Kante. If I'm not being greedy, like I said in the last episode, I'll just take myself a Dembele and be perfectly happy with that. I'm not going to be greedy. He's only 84 rated, but he goes nicely in my team instead of Coutinho. So just sort me out with the Dembele, please, EA. And I'll just be absolutely chuffed. No, we got a Kramerich. All right, he looks all right. He looks all right. I mean, I say all right in the fact that he's 84 rated. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's got pretty good shooting. He's got pretty good dribbling. He's got all right physical. He's got all right pace. I mean, no one's using him, are they? Let's be four-star, four-star, but no one's really going to go out of the way to build a Cramerich squad. But I may as well just take him because he's the highest rated one. I mean, I'm not going to go and build myself a Russian League, Peruvian, far fan team. I might even though he's got a he's got a bit of pace about him. He, he looks pretty crap, to be honest with you. So we're not going to go there. I don't really care for a Notchella. Is that the Belgian League? It is. Standard Liège, 81 rated. No thanks. I'll just have... 84 rated Kramich. Now, if you can give me another 84 rated one, but make this one Dembele, that'd be beautiful. I mean, we got a 90 rated last week. It was Chiellini. That was mental. I mean, the things I do for a 90 rated this week for a Salah or a Kante. Oh, 
boy. But I'm not, I'm not a greedy man. I'm not a greedy man. Just want Dembele. It's not too much to ask. You've already given me 184. Just give me the other 84. Come on. Not that over 84. The other over 84. Oh, okay. Never mind. No red Dembele. I mean, we can just buy him. I'm pretty sure he costs like 80k. <laughs> Let me have a look. It's not that deep. Left wing Usman Dembele is 90k. It's not that deep. We can just buy him if we want. I mean, he's like 40k extra from Coutinho, I think. Yeah. Well, he's 50k extra from Coutinho. But he has got 10 more pace. He's got three less dribbling, to be honest with you. And he has, he's got two less shooting and less passing and stuff. But he does have 10 more pace. And he's got five star weak foot, which is pretty cool. He's four star, five star. And Coutinho is five star, four star. So it's, it's an interesting toss up between the two of them. But I would quite like the Dembele, I think. Just because it's a little bit different. Anyway. We got, is this second in form? I feel like this is second in form, Sydney. It is second in form. He actually looks all right. He's getting on towards looking all right. Give him another one. He'll have like 90 defending and fit. He's got 94 strength. Holy moly. Yeah, give him another one when he's getting on towards like 88 defending and 87 physical and stuff like that. He's actually properly sick. Six, he does have a high attacking work rate and a medium defensive one. All right, you're useless, mate, but we're going to take you because you're 84 rated and then I'll just trade you in for a footballer or something like that. Okay. Two 84s. I mean, I'm not sure how many 84s there is in this team of the week. There is Cramrich, Dembele, Sydney, Gulam, Donnarumma. All right, there's five. Okay, there's five. We got for two of them. And unfortunately, neither of them were the one that we wanted. So there was a slightly less than 50-50 chance of it being the right one. All right, we can't be, we can't be too miserable. It's just from three 84 80 cards in it, to be honest with you. We got some coins. We're up to 268,000. And we got some packs to open, so that's what we're going to do. We've got Jumbo Premier Gold Packs, Rare Players Pack, Mega Packs. Alright, so these are the crappy ones for our Rank 4 Div Rivals, which I wouldn't surprise me if they ended up being the best packs I've ever got in my life, because that's just how people works, isn't it? What have we got in this one? Mario? Mario. We've got ourselves Mario. 81 rate. Alright. I mean, it's just free stuff. I played one game with Div Rivals, and it was that one that made me tilt off the face of the earth. So I can't really moan, like I didn't even play it at all. It was literally just from playing Foot Champs that I got these, so like I said, I did nothing for it. I can't moan too much. This guy's worthless. Okay. Get in discards and then we'll keep all the rest of the stuff. It's just consumed balls to go into our club. And we got another one of these. Any walkouts? No. Okay. Like I said, didn't do anything to get them. Don't really care. We've got ourselves a play player. Player? I don't really know how to pronounce his name. Do you know what? His inform actually looks quite good. I mean, it's, that card looks quite good, but... Oh, we, oh, we got another player pick. All right, go on. Sort me out. Who are we getting in this one? Who's going to be worth the most here? It's probably Brandt, actually, isn't it? Is it? He's a left mid, and he's non-rare, so when he goes into it, he becomes needed for an SBC. He's probably going to be worth bank. He's 1,500 coins. Koscielny is 1,000. How weird is it that the rare, the non-rares are actually rarer than the rares? Victor Ruiz is 1300 Yeah, it's Brandt. It is, he's literally the most expensive one. That's so silly. The non-rares are the rare ones these days. Anyway, this player guy, player, player, play, don't know what he's called. His inform's actually pretty decent. But unfortunately, that's not his inform because that isn't in packs anymore. And we've just got his normal guard, so we stick that in the club. We've got ourselves some badges and some stadiums and stuff to discard for some extra coins and a couple of consumables and whatnot. All right, so they're the crappy packs out the way. We've got a 25K pack and two 35K packs. It's the decent 25K pack. It's the one that's all rare. It doesn't have a walkout for me. Does it have boards for me? It does have boards for me. All right, that's not bad. These are tradable as well, remember? We usually get a lot of untradables from our Div Rivals, but we didn't because we didn't play Div Rivals. But maybe we will next week, hopefully. Anyway. But there you go, 83 rated, the best thing we've packed. I, I would say in a while and complain, but I did pack Informed Salah a couple of weeks ago, so I can't really moan that much, let's be honest. Okay, we'll just stick that in my club. I can't imagine Summer's worth coins. He definitely isn't. I can't imagine this guy's worth coins. He definitely isn't. All right, we'll just discard both of them. We'll take the 1200 coins to them. And we've got two 35k packs to finish off. I'm going to go for this one first. Don't think it makes any difference, but we're going to try it. Still nothing sick. 
what are we saying? Fabregas, 84. I mean, I'd probably invest in Fabregas's when I, when or if I sell my Bale and Messi, we might invest in some because he's usually quite cheap, which also makes this pack pretty crap because he's usually quite cheap. I mean, he's like 6,000 coins. That's, that's all right, I suppose. It's not too bad. I'll probably just hang on to him until he wear something for an SBC. I don't know, maybe they bring out a Footmerse Herrera like last year and you need to put a Spanish player in and have like an 85 rated squad and then people will want Fabregas's. That is the plan with investing for Footmerse. It starts to me in about 21 hours or something like that. So I've got a little bit of time to decide, but I'm going to have to get a shift on. I think, I think I'm going to sell Gareth Bale. I think I'm going to sell him. I'm on the fence about Messi. I can't quite decide what to do with him. So we'll have to see. But I think Gareth Bale's so, so, so inflated that I can't resist getting the 420k for him. Whereas I would kind of like to try out Messi in the centre like you guys were saying to me in the last episode. Anyway, let's grab our last Foot Champs reward pack. Let's see what we're going to get. It's not a walkout. Can we make it like an inform or something like that? That would be useful for an SPC. It's a board. It is a... a Murata. Okay. I was going to guess Adoriz basically the same thing. Fabregas is perfect, Link. Alvaro Morata. Alright. They were pretty average, but we did get something absolutely... We, oh my god, we got a perfect Link. Tom would go absolutely mental. Fabregas and then Kepa and Morata next to each other in the next pack. We got three boards in that one, to be honest with you. That's not awful. We got this dude who always ends up being worth a ridiculous amount of coins for SBCs and stuff, being Spanish in the Bundesliga. Is that the Bundesliga? Is the two, that's the two Bundesliga now, but he still ends up being aware of some coins, I'm not really sure. Just because he's Spanish in a different league, I suppose. We got Nasser Chadley, you're worthless. We got Saar, you're worthless. And then we got this random stuff that we'll just discard for the coins. Not the best for Champs rewards, not the worst. These expire in another day. And then we might be able to get ourselves a 50k pack or something with our 1,000 free FIFA points, which would be pretty cool. But based on that pack look, it's not going to go particularly well. The only other thing I've got to do is... That's the CF to cam position. Oh my god, they actually gave us a CF to cam. These were basically extinct at one point. Fair play, yay. Thank you very much. I have got 20 hours. I literally couldn't care less about this card. It doesn't upgrade. It looks bang average. And I am not winning whilst scoring with Italian players in eight Div Rivals games. You must be mental. But I need to do this. I need to win three games. And I need to score twice in ten wins. Okay, and I also need to, oh my god, there's loads of them. Score using the Liga players in four rivals wins. Okay, so that is the one that's going to be a drag because I've got to do that. And I'm going away on, well, tomorrow morning to me. So I've got to do that tonight, basically. I need to get four rivals wins. I need to get four rivals wins just using my team because it's basically a Liga team anyway. And in doing so, we will basically do these ones. Yeah, yeah I'll definitely do that one. And we need to score a couple of goals and stuff. That's just in wins, so I can just do that in a squad battles game. Alright, that's pretty easy. That one I need to do in rivals or in single matches or something like that. And that one I need to do in... So I'll do these two together and I can just do that one in a squad battles if I absolutely have to. Alright. I'm going to go and do that. We've got almost 300k. I'm not going to sell my bail and stuff yet until I've done this. And I'm going to try them out with Suarez Striker, Messi Center Camp, Bale on the right and see how that works just because I can. And I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow maybe the next day and I'll let you know how I've got on and what I'm doing in foot jumps once I'm back. Yeah. I'm going to go and get this done. I'll see you guys soon.